Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I am here with my fifth layout using the hip kit for the month of October. And um, this one was one of the challenges in their online crop that they had in October. And uh, this challenge was presented by um, Callie, who is a design team member. I think that's how you say her name. And um, the challenge was to use fall colors. So um, I decided to use this picture. And this picture is of uh, Layla, who decided in, this was in 2012, so she was probably about 15 months old, and we were taking family photos, like our first family formal pictures, and she decided after five seconds of sitting, she was done. So she got up and walked away, and my friend who was taking the pictures, she got that, she captured that right there, and I just, I love that picture, because Layla's in focus, and everyone else is not, and we're all still sitting back where we're supposed to be. Um, so I used I brought in a piece of orange cardstock that's from my stash, and I just wanted to add that behind that um, chevron-ish paper, which is by Crate Paper, and it's the Open Book Collection by Maggie Holmes. And I wanted to use that as a, you know, just to kind of ground it a little bit because it is a very bold and busy pattern. So I just wanted to tone it down just a tiny bit. And what I did was... Um, I'm adding a few things here from my stash. So just about everything except the paper that I'm putting on here right now, that's actually all from my stash, just from things sitting on my desk that I'm trying to get rid of. And um, and then I'll start working, bringing stuff in from the kit. But I added those epoxy, those triangle epoxy stickers. Those are from Freckled Fawn, and those um, have been sitting on my desk for a while, and I'm trying to get through them. And I also added a little transparent frame up in the upper left hand corner behind the picture and um, some washi tape. And so I also added the wood veneer leaves, um, the smaller ones, those are from Freckled Fawn as well. And then um, I believe everything else I pull in is from the hip kit. I'm just trying to get, you know, get through some stuff on my desk, get, a, get rid of a few ons and ends. Um, that big yellow flower is from Freckled Fawn as well and I have had trouble using those because I think we got like five of them in a kit in one of our kits and they are beautiful but they are huge so what I did was I just kind of used my fingers and kind of um, bent it down a little bit because they're metal and they you know are folded up but you can you can manipulate them so I kind of push it down a little bit it's still pretty tall like big because I had to use a pop dot to put it up but um, it's better so I was able to use it which I'm happy about I didn't want to have to throw it away because it's nice. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start getting some stuff stuff stuck down. Slow down, Sarah. <laughs> um, those circular die cuts there are from the Maggie Holmes Open Book die cut pack that came in the kit. And then I on the bottom I added a flare badge, which is from my stash. And then the chipboard button that I added to the top right, those... Um, that's from Teresa Collins, and that came in the kit as well. And I am going to add these cork leaves, which are by Ellie Studio from their Sycamore Lane collection, and um, those came in the kit as well. So I'm just going to get my stuff stuck down. And this layout was really quick. It took me very little time to get this done. I think maybe 25 minutes or so. Um, so it was it was very fast. It's nice when you know you have a great kit to work with and then you're doing a challenge so you kind of have some guidelines to go off of. Um, it makes it go really really quickly. I was very happy. So I'm using glossy accents to put that flower down at first and it just doesn't work. It won't stay because the entire flower is metal and um, it just wasn't working for me so I put it on a pop dot and obviously that worked. <laughs> and then the pearl came out from the middle, so I just used some glossy accents to stick that back in there. I had to hold it down for a few minutes to make sure it's going to stay. Um, this is a speech bubble from Studio Calico that has been sitting on my desk. I'm trying to use those up as well. And then I just put a little sticker that says love this. And that is from that Teresa Collins um, sticker sheet that I'm working with right now. And I'm going to go ahead and get my title down. And the title is 
awkward captured because it was kind of awkward. We were sitting there smiling pretty and all of a sudden she just gets up and starts to walk away. <laughs> like awkward. <laughs> and then I am using these gorgeous gold thicker word thickers from the open book line. Oh my gosh, they are perfection, literally. Like every single one of them is perfect. I love them so much. And it's really easy to get your titles because I didn't have to think about it. I just looked at it and said, can any of these words work? And that one did, and it was just perfect. So I added a few gray enamel dots from my mind's eye. Those were sitting on my desk as well. And I think the only thing that I'm gonna add is some journaling right below the title. And also in the beginning, I forgot to point this out, but um, I kind of messed with the edges of the um, the crepe paper paper. So I kind of distressed it a little bit, just folded it up and tore it in a few places, and it looks okay. It doesn't look as nice as other people when I see them do it, and it's like perfect, perfectly messy. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I did an okay job. <laughs> And that's going to complete my layout. It was really quick, really simple, and I love it. Absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I got some close-ups coming up here for you. And I am going to be back again really soon with some more hip kit layouts for you. Have a great day, guys. Bye.